Hi, I'm Anthony Abba from Return to Israel. You may have watched the two episodes filmed at the National Religious Broadcast Convention in Nashville, Tennessee, that I attended with a Muslim sheikh from Hebron, Sheikh Abu Nasser Al-Tamimi. Being present with a Muslim sheikh at a major Christian event certainly turned a lot of heads and created a lot of curiosity. But why would I do that? What purpose could possibly be achieved in my bringing a Muslim who supposedly wants to kill Christians and Jews and bring them to a Christian convention like this? And that is exactly the point. A reality exists in Israel that few know about. And you need to realize what is going on too and how you can be a part of something truly amazing that is happening right now. And that is what I wanted to share and why the Sheikh and I went to the NRB. We have all heard of the evil Muslim terrorists that have committed heinous and detestable crimes against Jews and Christians, not to mention their own fellow Arabs. In fact, that news is really fixated on these evil people. Their racist, murderous acts are featured in the news over and over again. And this bad news is prevailing over another story that I'm here to tell you about. You see, we must not let these evil terrorists drown out other Arab voices. You may not know this, but there are Arab Muslims who respect our Bible. These Muslim Arabs unequivocally believe in God's immutable covenants with the Jews, which includes the fact that the land that God gave to the Jews, they believe is their ancestral homeland. And not only that, and this is important, these Arabs that I'm talking about who live within Israel's borders also believe that they must respect Israel's sovereign right as a nation. Like Sheikh Tamimi has said, we represent the position that there are two populations destined by Allah to live together. This is the new reality that is emerging, one that eclipses the political Muslim terrorists and a two-state failed solution. This new reality is the rising voice and influence of Arab Muslims not only living in Judea and Samaria, in the cities of Hebron and Ramallah and Shechem, but also in the palaces of Saudi Arabia and other Gulf countries like the United Arab Emirates. To prove this point, I want to share with you a video clip of Dr. Mike Evans, founder of the Friends of Zion Museum in Jerusalem. He has been a frequent guest of the royal families of these Gulf nations. Here is what he said at a Jerusalem Post function in 2019. Now let me talk to you for a moment about Gulf state leaders. I've met with most of them. I've met with MBZ in the Emirates. Emirates. I've met with MBS in Saudi Arabia, the crown prince. And I can tell you something astonishing. These leaders are more pro-Israel than a lot of Jews. I can tell you this. When I met with the crown prince of Saudi Arabia, I said to him, what do you think of Jews and what do you think of Christians? Ah, I like them both. Tell me why. Because my mother was one. I said, what are you talking about? My father's house director, he said, who raised me was an Ethiopian Jew evangelical. Wow. Now I can tell you this in two and a half hours, the stuff that I heard from the crown prince was so astonishing astonishing towards Israel that I had to brief the White House and the Prime Minister. Absolutely would blow your mind if you know what this man is thinking. He, he said, I'll let one statement he said, I said, what, the, what can the Palestinians do? He said, oh, it's simple. They need to copy Israel. Copy Israel, that's all. And that is the new reality found among Muslim Arabs today that we as Christian peacemakers need to understand and support. Does that mean we don't tell Muslims about Jesus? No. In fact, 
Sheikh Tamimi, who came with me to the NRB, he believes in Jesus, that he died and even resurrected. A huge part of what this new reality is, is that a growing number of Muslims, like my friend Sheikh Tamimi, want and are looking for the coming of Messiah too, just like the Jews and you and I are. And these Arabs know that respecting Israel and the Jewish rights of her complete restoration is the path to peace and the coming Messiah. So here is a point that I want to leave you with now, and this is important. Please listen. We have a unique opportunity to further the kingdom of God by helping in Israel's restoration. How? Well, one of the ways is by supporting the Arabs in the Palestinian territories that want peace with Israel. And when we do this, we will silence the voice of terrorism. And when we do this, we are directly helping to advance Israel's restoration. And by supporting Israel's restoration, we are supporting redemption. And that is what Return of Israel, Christians in support of Jewish sovereignty, is all about. And so I invite you to help us further this new reality in Israel by your donations and simply by helping us share these amazing events that are taking place right now. Please sign up to our emails or our YouTube channel and be a part of the team for peace in Israel. Thank you. And God bless you, Anthony Abma for Eternal Israel.